I like you, Michael. I like you too, we see. Seriously, man. <laughs> you're such a good person. Thank you. You are too. Yeah. I wish Peyton would adopt some of your values. Me too. <laughs> Me too, man. <laughs> God damn it, man. I like you guys. We, we, we should hang out. <laughs> Dude, what's... You know what? Life is good. Life is good. And I'm going to do my best this week not to complain about anything. Because things could be a lot worse. I could be on fire right now. Yeah. Dude, I saw a dude set himself on fire in front of the Washington in Washington, D.C. Do you yeah, see that video? I saw that, yeah. Dude, what the F? I don't think they explained why he did it yet. Nope, but the commentary of the guy videotaping it, talking to his friend, who's like, it's just a stunt. It's just a stunt. And he's like, it's not a stunt. Get your head out of your ass. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really not. I'm surprised no. that didn't get more play. Right? Weird. Weird. Maybe there's a conspiracy behind it. Ooh. Classic Wee Sam. Classic. Hey, what's in the mail today, man? We have a question from Britt Robertson. Oh, I know her. <laughs> I know her. I'm uh, aware of her. You are aware of her. I am. Her question is, what's the latest you've ever sleep or slept in? I got a great story for this one. Okay. My It was when I was younger, probably like sixth grade or fifth grade, probably fifth grade. And my dad was so upset with me because I got a bad grade on my report card. And I didn't want to deal with him on Sunday. So I just stayed in bed till 1 p.m. Wow. And my mom had to check up on me. And she's like, are you scared to go downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Dad's upset. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was the scariest. That was, that was the scariest? Well, All right. That was oh, the well, longest time I've slept in. Sorry. Whoa. It just got real there. <laughs> well, how about, how about adult life? Adult oh, life. adult life. I don't know. Just probably no more than 11. Even if I go to bed around 5 for like a night shoot or something like that, I'm That's usually up by 11. It's reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Thank, hey, Britt, the, thanks for the question. The one, the one that was really aggressive, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. really aggressive. I really like that. Hey, guys, keep sending us your questions. Friendly reminder to people listening, our show goes on past the hour mark here on Adobe. You can check out the full episode on iTunes, Spotify, tomorrow morning when you're listening to this, which is basically Friday morning. And you can watch it on YouTube as well. So make sure you subscribe on YouTube and iTunes so you, you can get the latest updates. Also, I go live from time to time right before the show starts. And make sure you're following me and the Instagram account for our show. Send us your questions, man. We love hearing from you. And thank you to all our new subscribers. Thank you to all of our um, new fans. And a special thank you to Hannah from Chibi Village Artist for these amazing things. That It was a nice surprise during our show. We opened up. Look, look at all this stuff she got. You can buy these, actually, on her Etsy uh, page. And we'll link that. Uh, we'll put the link where you can buy all this stuff. All of her artwork from not just my show, other shows, Brett Davrin, a bunch of other ones. Support her, guys. Seriously, she does amazing work. And, uh, you know, this show is free. So if you support the people who support us, a dollar here, a few bucks there, take a picture of it. We'll retweet you guys. We're a big family. And we support each other. Because I love you guys. Seriously. One of the reasons why I love doing this show. Talk about Guayaki. Who? I'm kidding. <laughs> Guayaki. Thank you for being our drink sponsor. Seriously, <laughs> you keep us going during the show. You give me the vigor and energy of a, th of a thousand m m warrior monks. Ooh, I like that. Dude, I'm telling you. I could fight demons right now on this stuff. I don't All care. Right. <laughs> Mm. Lemon elation today. Classic. Classic. Also, they have their unsweetened version, which is actually very, very good. It's in glass bottles. I actually have it at home. I take it in the morning. I like it actually, you know, when I've had too much sugar in the day. I have a little bit of the unsweetened guayaki. It's always great. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest today, I haven't seen her in basically four years. You might know her as Katie LeClaire. Amazing person, amazing human being, amazing philanthropist, saved, uh, I think it was a bus full of nuns in 93 in this amazing, like, a Sudanese province. She fought off this armed rebellion, and it was just an incredible story. She, <laughs> sorry. She's our guest today on the show. She has a movie coming out soon. Michael. <laughs> With... Sorry. No, no, no. Round of your life. Round, Round of, your, of life. your life. Round of your life coming out June. In June. 
21st. <laughs> June 21st. <laughs> June 21st. <laughs> dude, dude. We need to start writing this stuff down for me before we start. <laughs> I thought you did. It. <laughs> we'll link it. We'll put it up. We'll support it. We know what we're doing here. We're live, baby. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for one of my favorite people in the world, Katie LeClaire. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what a way to start. It's like a little ASMR. A little bit. Yeah. Dude, Katie, how how have you been? It's been four years since I've seen you. Mm-hmm. I have children now. Uh, uh-oh. In the last four years. Adopted? Or birth? Uh, adopted. Or switched at birth? Uh, oh. 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 This was a great interview. We <laughs> I'll see you later. I'll see you in another four. Oh. <laughs> I, I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Lord. No, it hasn't been four years. It's been... It's been probably like two or three, two months. Probably. Two months, two, two months, months. I think. Yeah, that's far too long. Yeah, I, I'm just so used to seeing you. There was a, there was a, there was a consistency to it. I know. But and you, now that I'm back, we're gonna get that consistency going again. Great. And then you were shooting a movie. I did. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. It's always fun to go back to work. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Always fun. Very. <laughs> you know. Fun. Uh, you know, every single job has its obstacles, that's for sure. And part of the fun is uh, maneuvering through those challenges, yeah. correct? Yeah, for sure. I yeah. So I just, so, okay, we can tell the people. Yeah, we can tell. We we can tell whatever them. you like. Should we tell the people? Yeah, we can tell the people. I went to Massachusetts, Worcester, Massachusetts. Worcester. Oh, it's hella good. No, they don't say hella. They, it's wicked good in Wor- Worcester. Worcester. Worcester's the worst place I've ever been in my life. Oh my goodness! Really? I hate Worcester. What oh, was so bad about it? Worcester? It's uh, there's nothing to do there. Uh, okay. It's like 40 minutes outside of Boston, and so if you're gonna get to Boston, you have to take a train or an Uber, and the Uber's a wicked expensive man. Yeah. Wicked expensive kid. Like 100. <laughs> it's like double the price that they are in LA. Whoa. Also, the, the strike was happening. The like uh, Uber whatever. So like maybe that has something to do with that. Yeah. But I was there for three weeks, and man. Those Ubers are expensive, kid. Jeez Louise. Yeah, so uh, it's you're, you're sort of stuck in this town that, like, you know, there's not much to do. They yeah. have a great art museum, Worcester. Okay. Yeah, so I went to the art museum, and they've got Leonardo da Vinci's, and they've got Picasso's, Wait, and they've what? got— They have the uh, water lilies of Monet. Uh, Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah. it's a are There? It's a wicked good— Art museum. Okay. This one. You're going to have to bleep you out every time you say Wicked for no reason. <laughs> You're bleeping it out. Oh, okay. Wicked good, kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a really it's a really good art museum. They had this I- exhibit on um, um, Japanese um, ink prints when oh. I was there. It was like the specialty exhibit. Wow. Um, I like that one. I know. That's a really good one. <laughs> no, I really do. I, I don't that. know. It just, it just seems real. And oh, the stone oh, journey. No, no. That, do that, you know about this? No, this makes me angry. I don't know why. Why? I don't know. It just feels like there's just stones on a, on a piece of wood. No, it's, so what it okay. is. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> it's right. actually kind of interesting and sort of please, philosophical please, and yeah, cool. Please, yeah. I love it. So the stone on the left, the rock on the left, is just a stone that this artist uh, selected from uh, a river in his, on his property. And then the stone on the right is an exact replica of the stone on the left that he created out of clay. And the conversation is, which is more valuable and which should be appreciated more? The stone that comes from nature or the stone that is man-made but is still an exact replica, but is it more valuable because an artist created it rather than nature created it? Oh! I mean, yeah, I get that. Yeah, that's a, that's a good conversation. That's better than I thought it was going to be. It's okay. kind of cool. Yeah, it's a good conversation starter. That's for sure. I dig that. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll take it. I'll buy it. <laughs> you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's culture in Worcester. Can I can I Not ask really. you something? Which one do you think is more valuable? I think the conversation is the most valuable part of all. Okay. Great answer. Great answer. Because I don't think you can assess value on either thing. You're a really deep person. Hey, thanks, pal. No, you really are. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. That makes me embarrassed. Why am I deep? I don't want to be deep. I don't want to be anything. No, you just you have a very wonderfully wide perspective on on life, and I think that's invaluable these days. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I dig that. This uh, this film you shot is it? Uh, when can we see it? So it's a Christmas movie. So it's called A Sweet Romance. July fourth. Yep. Yep. In theaters. <laughs> Uh, it's, they're doing okay. halfway through the year Christmas yeah, movies yeah, now. Christmas and what is it? Christmas July? and July. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. No, I'm being serious. That's a thing. That is a thing. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, it's uh, you know hopefully it's uh, shot independently, but very likely going to be Hallmarky yeah. kind of. Maybe Netflix. Maybe it'll be like for television somewhere. Oh, cool. Most nice. likely not in theaters. Um, Perfect. My character is a dairy farmer, and the dairy is going under. What? Oh, Shit. The family farm. What are we going to do? Yeah. That happens. And then my <laughs> asshole sister shows up to <laughs> sell the farm. Oh, and I got gotcha. you. she brings a boy with her that to bitch. help, I know, <laughs> to help facilitate the sale. And so, uh, oh obviously, the boy and I did not get along until we do. Yeah. Oh. And it's a, it's a happy ending. Oh. Oh, oh! Just Spoiler that, yeah. alert! It's a happy ending. Okay, okay. Of course, it's a Sorry. Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. Yeah. Um. No, that's awesome. That's yeah. great. We shot on a dairy farm. You got to work with cows. Fuck yes, I did. That's I love cows. <laughs> oh my god, me too. I love too. animals. I love farm animals. <gasps> I love cows. I know they're huge, dude. So big, dude. And uh, I, was your were your cows friendly? Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Are there unfriendly cows? Absolutely. Absolutely. I guess there's unfriendly everything. I think they're called bulls, right? Well, oh. no, there could be a male cow. Yeah, that's true. A bull is a male cow. Yes, so but they, a yeah. female cow can be unfriendly. Yeah, okay, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. No, all of them. Shout out Whittier Farms in uh, Massachusetts. I think it was Auburn, Massachusetts. They're so great. Yeah. And it was cool, like you know, actor wise, like the director was like, "Let's meet up at the farm, you know, a day or two ahead of time, so you can like meet the cow and." Stuff like that, like the hero cow, um, and here I, I love the way you said the hero. It's, it's the hero cow. Well, yeah, that's, that's a thing. No, I don't do it in set. I, absolutely, that, that's the way we do it on set. It is. I love. It. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, do you want to explain what that is? Please, I love it. I would love for you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not. Okay. The hero cow's like the you know the featured the yes, fe- yes. The, fe- the hero cup of coffee is like yes. the featured cup of coffee. Yeah, the yeah, hero. Yeah. Peyton is the featured Peyton. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's the featured cow. Yeah. It's the featured. So the, so I met I Glow know. is her name. Glow? Glow. Oh, in like the that. movie, her name is Gloria, but in real life, her name is Glow. Oh. And Glow and I became <laughs> oh real close. That's nice. The Wrangler, I like at one point would reset Glow back to her first mark. Mm-hmm. Myself, the Wrangler didn't do it. And then we see him at one point. Yeah. Glow took her torso-sized head yeah. and nuzzled it into me. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so cute. Ugh. I kind of like farm smell, like the hay and stuff. That's not a good smell. Oh, you don't like it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like It smells like hay and shit, but it smells like <laughs> hay and shit. Nice. Thanks. I like that. I think that might be the quote. <laughs> smells like hay and shit. We'll, have to, we'll work it out. We'll work it in there. <laughs> Jeez, I missed you. I missed you too. Yeah. How have you been? Crazy stuff has happened. Crazy. Yeah? Yeah, lots of... Lots did of, you have a kid? No. Oh, okay. Wait, did it? No, no, no. <laughs> um, show got canceled, which I'm oh, sure you know. Oh, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't know. That's right. No, it's good. Things happen. Um, Do you know... Good. Can I say something? Yeah, you know, go ahead and interrupt. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> on the other show that I do on this network, all I do is get interrupted. It's, um, it's you know, I'm going to take my chance to interrupt. You interrupt as much as you want. Um, uh, the day that Switch to Birth got canceled, yeah. Leah Thompson came up to me, and I was pretty bummed out. Yeah. Obviously. And she goes, you're a real actor now. And I said, what mm. the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I've been a real actor. I was on a TV show for five years. Yeah. She goes, you're not a real actor until your show gets canceled. Yeah. Yeah. So this is not your first time your show got canceled, but like, 
there is some sort of comforting, like, you know, everything changes and everything's in flux. And oh yeah, it, I'm I'm actually not. I'm in a r- really good place with it, you know. And I was really thankful, and I'm I, I'm really thankful for what I don't get as well, you know. The, Why is that? Uh, just the blessings you don't receive, or the blessings you think you want, are are sometimes. Uh, not so much blessings. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah, opening you up for new things. And as you as you said, you know, no show is going to last forever anyway. Yeah. And there's a lot of things out of your control, but um, there's plenty of good things that have happened. Oh, good. I'm yeah. glad you're. I'm glad you're uh, feeling okay about. Yeah, it. I've got I've got uh, I've got a good circle around me. I've got these great guys, part of the team here. You know, I do this wonderful radio show. I've got the the fans of the radio show. That always tune in every week, which is wonderful. I've got a great family. Family's getting better. You know, I'm in good health overall. Uh, I still have opportunities to go out. And when you start counting your blessings, you know, it's really hard to be upset and mm-hmm. be sad, especially when you really understand what blessings you have and how valuable they are compared to what other people have. For sure. Yeah. I mean, just last week I was complaining about the tint shop that tried to finesse me, I feel like, on the <laughs> not the right tint I got. And I realized th- this is my this is my biggest problem right now, and I'm really thankful for it. Yeah, yeah. Was I screaming in the car? Yes. W- was I thoroughly upset? Yes. But at the same time, I was like, "You got to calm down." So hmm. you know what that's like, right? I do. It, things could be a lot worse than they are. Heck yeah. So let me get through. Th- that's the only way to get through the tough times, I think. Yeah. Well, everything ch- you know, everything's changing, and perspective is such a cool thing. Somebody yelled at me once because they said only somebody who has a, has an abundance says that perspective is a good thing. And I was like, yeah, but we all have so much. So, like, cool it, mm. brosif. And also, you weren't – you didn't just get that stuff. I feel like you've worked for, for a good portion of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've had to put in some amount of work <laughs> to make it happen and make good choices. Yeah. I uh, I got a new car. Oh, girl, what'd you get? Or, or do you not want to <clears> say what that? Oh, I don't uh, care. Okay. Um, we did a thing on the Brett Davern show where we asked people to tell me what car I should get. Oh yeah, you I remember participated this. in this. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. What was your answer? Tesla. Yep, that was everybody's answer. Yep. Did you get it? No. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> so thanks for the advice. Okay. Uh, cool. I didn't take it. Cool. <laughs> What, what, I got a, what, what car did you mess up and get? I got a... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> How, what'd you get? I got a 2016 Toyota RAV4 SE. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so it's solid. the sports edition. Oh, great. Yeah. So you got a little, little extra, a little extra oomph. 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 Wonderful. And it only had 6,000 miles on it. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. so it's basically a new car. So great. I'm really excited. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. Uh, again, apologize to our listeners if the sound had cut out just a little bit. We've been experiencing technical difficulties in the last... Uh, yeah, it's just cut out for a split second, and then comes back on. It's been doing that. Yeah, let's just anyway. not, let's not pay attention to it. <laughs> and I'm 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 paying attention to it because <laughs> it's happening, and so I want to make people know that it's not their podcast that's messing up. Anyway, yeah. huh? Huh? Crazy, crazy times. Today only? No. Oh, yeah. It started. Last Why week. is it so hot in this room right now? Uh, that's weird. The AC's on. It's just Peyton and Michael bringing the hotness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, oh, it yeah. is Peyton and Michael. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not either of us. It's, it's, it's you. Things. It's more you than me. <laughs> it's fiery That's for red sure. hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But are you enjoying the car so far? I've had it for two days. Love it. Yeah. Have you given it, re- like, have you yeah. gassed? Oh. Yeah. Four-wheel drive, right? Four-wheel drive. Excellent. Mm-hmm. In case you want to go to Big Bear. That's right. Yeah. And it has a roof rack in oh. case I want to, like, you know, pop a surfboard on top. Yeah. I don't know how to surf, but I could put a surfboard on my car. Yeah, you could. I could. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like traveling anywhere since you've just come back from the East Coast? Do you feel like you want to you wanna continue doing a little bit of traveling? Yeah. So I have a movie coming out, actually. Um, oh. It's called The Round of Your Life. It's one of those movies that you shoot four years ago. And then four years later, they go like, oh, this movie's coming on you. Oh, shit, I forgot about that thing. Oh, one of those projects. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so they're doing a round of press, and they asked me to go to Phoenix. But, Great. But uh, this little movie that could does not have money for a plane ticket. So they said, we'll buy your gas. And I was like, I just got a new car, baby. 
Great. So very quickly, it will no longer have 6,000 miles on it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to make a pit stop on the way back? Maybe Grand Canyon? Maybe uh, some of the uh, crazy mm. desert lands of uh, – wait, wait, you're going to Phoenix, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, Grand Canyon is what? Mexico. An yeah. hour and a half? I've never been to New Mexico. I want to go to the Carlsbad Caverns. Do that. And Grand Canyon. I, Grand Canyon is cool. Oh, uh, you've been? Grand, yeah, I've okay. been. And it's so it's one of those things where it's so big that you, you don't know how big it is. Like, you, mm. sitting in the one spot where you look at it, you're like, oh, yeah, that's big. And you're like, whoa. But no, you can't really wrap your head around it, I don't think. Yeah. What's the sound you make when you see it? Whoa. 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 I like that. Whoa. Whoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it starts with an A. A whoa. A whoa. A whoa. I mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was I was sort of, it's weird because I was sort of underwhelmed by the Grand Canyon. Mm. It, it wasn't what I expected it to be, which is such an asshole thing to say. Really? <gasps> yeah. Underwhelmed. What, what was your expectation? <sighs> you can't see it from above, so you can't see how big it is. You can uh, only see the mm. portion that you're looking at. And you, of course, you're like, whoa, a oh, whoa. That's real big, a oh, whoa. Yeah. But it's not, it didn't feel as massive as I thought it would feel. <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible person. No, you're not. No, that's you. You're being, I don't know. You're speaking your truth. I've never, well, uh, <laughs> I've, never th- I've never thought that thought out loud. So it's not yeah. really fleshed out. I, I'll I'll share a story, something that I was not expecting I would be that impressed with. So I kind of had the opposite. What happened? Sequoias. Oh, I haven't been. Dude. <laughs> I kept saying like an asshole. Oh, my God. Oh, my. For a probably 30 minutes straight, just with my face on the window, admiring these like huge trees. And when we got out of the car, I was like. I'm in Lord of the Rings somewhere. I'm in some kind of like fantasy land. I'm telling you, you feel like you're back in time. Seriously. It's absolutely bonkers to think how old these living creatures are. And not living in the same uh, sense as like an animal, but like as a plant. And you're like, whoa, you're a... It's it's nuts to think. And then we we saw a baby bear there and Mm. we got scared. Yeah, it was awesome. That's cool. Yeah. I'm going to uh, Yellowstone coming up soon. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. That's great. I've never been. Is that nice? <gasps> I, I've only been as a kid. Uh, so I saw Old Faithful as a kid. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to go back as an adult. Yeah. Is it, you can't touch that water, correct? That water is hot. Oh, yeah. No, it'll burn your face off. Okay. It's yeah. scalding. Yeah. It's scalding water. Yeah. Oof, that'd be a horrible way to go. Accidentally tripping one of those things. I'm sure people have gone out. Oh, really? Oh, dude. I also have a vague memory of like this like wooden bridge path that's above like a molten mud pit that bubbles. Oh. Like leading up to Old Faithful. But again, I was a child, so I don't, I don't. (laughs) (laughs) It might be, it might be overwhelmed. Like I might have been overwhelmed at the time, but like it might not be a thing. Yeah. I play with that thing during the show sometimes. So does Brett. We should glue these things down. <laughs> so we're both like, how, why is it? <laughs> um, I kind of am curious. Michael, would you mind looking up how hot those waters are from the geyser? Because what if Michael was like, fuck 200, you? 250, 250 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> you already Fahrenheit. did it. Look at you. 250 degrees Fahrenheit? Yeah. Melt your face off. I was looking up deaths and injuries from geysers. Dude, at m- Yellowstone already. So my <laughs> I was just right the, there. My kettle only gets to two twelve, and it's like <laughs> like it's bubbling like scary. What is it like? What is it? Do? <laughs> <laughs> is that That's the, cl- the quote? <laughs> 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 It's frightening to watch. I always think about the darkest stuff sometimes, just like taking it, throwing it on somebody you don't like. Where does that impulse come from? What's I'm wrong t- with you? I, th- I told this on my show last week. I have these two things pulling at me nowadays where at the same time when I encounter somebody who, during a frustrating encounter, I go, you know what? Hey, they're on their own journey. They have their own life uh, circumstances. They're living, again, their perspective on life. Just good luck to them. 
just leave them be. Yeah. And the other side wants me to flip out and yell at them and make fun of them and teach them a lesson. I, it's, it's, it's nuts. And make them think and make them know that it's not okay to keep doing this. Mm. That's not your job, though. Who's to say? <laughs> <laughs> Who's to say that, you know? Who's to say? Who's to say? Maybe, maybe you're going to help them. Maybe you're part of their journey. Yeah. Let, let's say I'm, you know, paying hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a tint on my car and you guys get the wrong tint. <laughs> <laughs> what ended up happening? I got the fucking right tint. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that... Uh, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. It's come and gone. Okay. <laughs> okay. I want to I want to close that chapter in my life. I have a question. We were talking about naturey things and sequoias and being overwhelmed and all of these things. Okay. <clears throat> I'm nervous around you right now. I don't know why. This is weird. You should be. <laughs> I am actually. I don't know why. That's weird. Huh. You're nervous in general or nervous about this question? Uh, I think it's about the just yeah, the question maybe. It's a it's a serious question. Okay, because I'm gonna I'm gonna demand an answer. Oh, because I skirted the answer, but I need the the definitive answer. Which is more valuable, the man made rock or the nature rock? Because I realized I didn't ask you back. <sighs> okay, that is a great question. I'm a big like core guy. In terms of like core, the, like fitness, like you do yeah, a lot of setups. Yeah, 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 a lot, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Fucking hard as a rock. Oh, <laughs> boom. boom! Boom! We'll be right back. No I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, in terms of go back to your essence, go back to the source kind okay. of thing. So there's a part of me that gets pulled towards the na natural rock, mm -hmm. and then there's something though intriguing to me about the creations of the creations you know like a Ooh, yeah. what ai creates what does you know mm -hmm. like your algorithm start creating on its own there's something miraculous about that in itself okay it's hard for me to figure out but yeah i don't know i don't know i'd have to think about that a lot more it's a serious i love this question yeah because then you go, okay, what is purpose then? You know, you start thinking about, you have to question what's, well, what's, what's the purpose of these things? What's the purpose of, it, yeah, there's a lot of other philosophical And like life's that purpose. Like, you know, this, this guy is meant to be an artist, right? So. Is he? <clears throat> uh... See, it's phrases like that. I feel like, um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. What, why Do you is feel like people have a purpose? Yeah, for oh. sure. But I don't know what those purposes are for each individual. Like when they say, oh, my purpose is I'm a, I'm definitely a surgeon. Or my purpose is... What's your purpose? <sighs> I think one of them is definitely to become more spiritually and mentally evolved upward in this lifetime. Through interactions I have with my family, friends, and life circumstances. And the window tinting guy. Oh, yeah, that was definitely a test of patience. And I was really <laughs> proud of myself because then two annoying things were happening at the same time, and I didn't get angry at those two other annoying things. And then I really calmed myself down, and I realized why I was angry with the window tinting. It wasn't for the fucking tint because I can give a shit about the tint because people mess up. People make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. But it was the fact that I felt like there was a strong possibility that somebody was trying to take advantage of me. And then I thought about all the other people that they've taken advantage of and who didn't notice the difference. All for what? What's so hard about running an honest business? And then the other part of me was like, well, what if it was just a careless mistake? And that boggles my mind too because I hate people who make careless mistakes like that because I'm already investing so, many mo so much money into something. Hey, Michael, you buy a car for $30,000. You expect it to work, right? Yep. That's not an insane assumption to have, right? Nope. I don't know why I directed that at Michael. <laughs> Michael was like, yes, yeah, uh -huh, the answer is yes. <laughs> also, I mean? it's true, but... It is. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I stand on that. All right. All right. Was that too intense? I felt that was a little intense. Maybe? I don't know. You're nothing if you're not intense, we say. I might have to cut that part out. <laughs> don't you fucking dare. <laughs> I just picked my nose and licked it for those people watching on YouTube, uh, but nobody else noticed that but me.
I didn't. I was looking at Peyton. You did that very slyly. Yeah, yeah, I did. Just quick. Are you on. a nose picker? Yeah, oh. but not an eater. Not a booger eater, that's for sure. I'm not a psycho. Are you psycho if you eat it? A little bit. Huh. Oh, uh-oh. Do you eat your boogers? No. Oh, okay. I just I've just never thought about the <laughs> psychopathicness of eating boogers. It's a little weird. Did you just throw up a little bit? I burped. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I burped. <laughs> Uh, I've been burping like crazy recently. Is it this Urban Mate? It's other things. It's other things? Yeah. I made the greatest Brussels sprouts the other day. Yeah, the farts. I did. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, yeah. Man, are they good, though. Well, how did you cook them? Oh, okay. Here it is. You roast them. But you roast them with a whole bunch of whole cloves of garlic. So it's roasted garlic and roasted Brussels sprouts at the same time. Bonus points if you roast peanuts also. This just turned into a cooking show. Okay, ready? Strap in. Now, <laughs> for the sauce. Put the helmet on. Put chin strap on the helmet. There it is. All right. For the sauce. <laughs> for the sauce, you got, you got your fish sauce. Mm, flavor town. Fish sauce, a little bit of water, sugar, cool. You got all the things. You got all the base flavor components. Now what you're going to do, a shitload of cilantro, a shitload of mint, a shitload of green onions. I love this already. And it is GD delicious. GD. Okay, now I know what you said. It's goddamn delicious. Wow. Wow. It's really good. Where did you get this idea from? Uh, it's Momofoku's recipe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you say? Momofoku? Oh. <laughs> David Chang's restaurant oh, okay, in okay. New York. <laughs> Just being silly. Oh. <laughs> what does that sound like? What does it sound We'll be like right back after the break. <laughs> <laughs> um, Momofuku? Mm? Oh, yeah, that's... what is it? Why did you have a reaction? I don't know. <laughs> Such... I don't know. What does it mean, that name? <laughs> I don't know. It's something Asian. <laughs> David Chang's Asian. He's Korean. Maybe it's Korean. I don't know. I'd actually like to have him on the show if I'm, it's the same David Chang I'm thinking about. It is. He's, he's I'm really inside your brain. I know exactly who you're talking about. Oh. When we come back from the break, because we actually really have to take a break, I want to oh, talk about, what's his name? Br- uh, Action Bronson. Uh, fuck know. That's Delicious? Yeah. I've yeah. been watching a lot of his YouTube stuff, man. Super interesting dude. And then we'll talk about some current events. He's the rapper guy. I don't know about current events. He's the rapper guy, right? Action Bronson? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that. Uh, Michael will t- tell us about the current events. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, there's nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> um, I don't even know. I, they're going to be fine. Trust me. We'll be right back. Hi. Wait, bye. <laughs> no, not bye. We'll be back. <laughs> Wait. Oh, stay. <laughs> All right, we're back and oh, uh, sorry, friendly sorry. remind. Oh. No, no, it's fine. I was just gonna tell people about the the morning show uh, you host with uh, Brett Dabber. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every morning here on Adobe Radio, five at days a week, seven p.m. Pacific time. That'd be a.m. Seven a.m. <laughs> was that intentional or was that? That was literally a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> um, seven a.m. to eight a.m. Five days a week, we have uh, cool people coming in and join us, and we play games, and we laugh a lot, so come I'm laugh you, with us. It's the best morning show out there right now, I think. Thanks, dude. Seriously, it's very entertaining. If you guys are driving in the traffic, it, it makes that drive so much more enjoyable because you feel like you're part of the group. You feel you have your friends. You get to laugh, have a good time, learn something new, hear something ridiculous, and get involved with the people you're listening to, and they're very interactive, and that's why I think it's... The best, so. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, we have fun. Yeah, I love when you join us too. Your your character that you play on that morning show is hilarious. I haven't done it in a while. You haven't. You're no. indignant the whole time. <laughs> I, I, or is, I it, like is it, that just you? Only when you're on, because I I feel like you get I I feed off the fact that you are getting a big kick out of it, and it's mm-hmm. frustrating, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> and that to me is the biggest pleasure. So when you were gone and I was on, I couldn't do that as much. Mm. Yeah, right. Because then I just seem like a like an a hole. Uh-oh. Right, yeah. right, right, right. But then it plays a bit more. But then primetime walks in. Oh wait. Oh, do you know that, that there's a thing for you? 
Wait, can I do this? Yeah, yeah you can go. No, 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 I'm still in the room. Right, I'm just cool. gonna take my headphones off yeah, yeah, and yeah, walk yeah. around the do table. You think, a little uh, bit? This is. Uh, are you talking about Chibi Village Artist? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll give him a shout out actually right now. Chibi Village Artist is amazing because they do these. <laughs> she does these amazing anim animated drawings of us in Chibi anime form. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I That's... like that this is on the air. That's not intentional. But... Yeah, dude, I didn't know about this. Nobody yeah. told me. Well, I was just going to give it to you when I got here because oh, I knew I was coming in. Aw, thank you so much. Look at that. Hannah. She's in Germany. Yeah. Hannah, thank you so much. Look at that. They got a little pin. Primetime, Mr. Primetime. Mr. Primetime. I love cats. I love the leopard cheetah fur. I love it. What is this? Primetime AF. As fuck. <laughs> I love it. Dude, and I, I love that she got the details in of my, my little... Scruff. Your stubs? Yeah. Hey, we Sam. Hope this card... You're going to just straight up read it. Yeah, is that okay? Gee, that's... You're fucking ballsy. But yeah. yeah, that's great. Hope this card finds you well. I wanted to send you a few things that were really enjoyed creating over the last few months. I really hope you like them. I do, Hannah. I seriously do. Thank you for your support. Uh, I don't often send originals, but then I remembered your prime time. Dude. Dude. That, that's, that's prime time classy right there. <laughs> Classy prime time. That's true love. Joking aside, I'm a huge fan of both your podcast and for the people. I love what you do and can't wait to see you, how the show develops over the years. You're so awesome. Aw, uh, for an A-list primetime celeb. Thank you so much, Hannah. Seriously, this this is very sweet. Oh, my gosh. Super awesome. This was this is yep. amazing. And then what is this? I don't know what With that love is. from Chibi Studio. Oh, wow. This is. This is a little Prezi. Oh, oh, my gosh. I don't know what this is. This is from Japan. No, UK. It says UK on there. Wait, are you sure? Wait. Yes, for you. Do it. Oh my gosh. This is, uh, oh gosh, I'm trying to. Oh, coasters. <laughs> what kind uh, of coasters? Oh. Oh. What prom time, baby? So cool. So, this is amazing. I'm so, so, like, so cool. Oh man. This is like, when people do this kind of stuff. I think she sells this on her Etsy store too, just to, oh, wow. like, Fully shout out the shout out. Oh wow, Brett Davin and friends. That's so cute. Oh, oh my You're gosh, up there. I'm up there. I'm part of the friends. This is so cute, <laughs> guys. Hannah, thank you so much. This is very sweet of you. Seriously, big shout out, guys. Go support Hannah on her Etsy page. Correct? Yeah. Chibi Village artist. Uh, just uh, support you can the get, show. Like, the coasters. Yeah, and then you can also. Um, I think we can maybe put a link uh, sure. right now on the YouTube channel as well. Yeah. And what we'll do is, uh, yeah, go support. And when you buy something, when you get it, take a picture, tag us, and we'll be sure to retweet you guys and and do that thing uh, that we, we love sharing with our fans. Super Seriously. cool. Great family. Great. Oh, God. Dude, we Sam's world, baby. We're growing. Yeah. We're growing time. Yeah. Um, let's do some current events. Yeah. Right. Michael? I'm We're, pretty out of touch, so I don't That's okay. I don't know, I don't know what they are. Hey, hey, hey. It's going to be okay. Well, I'll, I'll, some of these are like questions and like getting your thoughts on uh, what's going on. Okay. Um, also, just kind of sort of random. Uh, this is a little bit of a sports question, but not really. It's... <clears throat> I'm the biggest sports fan that there is. So the other day uh, at the Cubs Astros game, um, one of the batters hit a foul ball and it hit a young girl in the stands. And so now they're are discussions of whether or not they should extend the netting all around the, the field mm -hmm. to protect them from these basically 150 mile an hour balls coming off the bat right at them. Um, sure. sure. Why, I, I, why wouldn't they? Yeah, I don't understand. the. Yeah, why wouldn't they? That's this actually a good point. It's just the discussion that's going oh, okay, on. Okay, yeah. So is the, the – I mean, like I've sat in seats where you can have to look through the net and it's not – It's not that obstructive. It's not that obstructive. Yeah. Uh, also, another thing I noticed about when this thing happened, Michael, uh, I, I was so annoyed. I get it. He feels bad. I, But, hey, can we update on – can we get an update on the girl? All the news articles were about him. Do you guys notice this? Mm. No? Nobody? No, because I this is what I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hearing about. <laughs> What's that? I saw one where he gave an update on the girl. How is she doing? She's she's expected to fully recover. Oh, okay, good, good, yeah. good. What see, happened to her? I didn't see that. She got nailed she, by a bomb. I mean, I know. She she had a concussion, I'm assuming, or like that I don't know. Okay. See what I mean? They weren't very yeah. specific with it. And all the ones all the articles I read are about him and his emotional distress through it. I'm like, uh, uh, okay, I get it. 
How's the little girl doing? No? No, I'm with you. Okay, yeah, okay. No, I'm with oh, sorry, there was this long pause, and I was like, all right, well, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> all right, uh, let's worry about the baseball player. I'll tell you, uh, I saw actually a little thing in that corner, Michael. Yeah. Uh, the way Drake uh, at the sidelines. Yeah. Okay. And sold Steph Curry's lint hair. The lint in Steph Curry's hair. That's the way to say that. Yep. Hey, Drake, you're not on the team. <laughs> Tone it down. Oh, but he's so adjacent to that team. Is he? <laughs> he's like their own official mascot. That's right. D- he's like yeah. the Spike Lee of huh. the Raptors. Doesn't he have a tattoo of another basketball team on him? Does he? Does yep. He? <gasps> yep. So that's just. I mean, look. Live your life. But is at he the same expected time... to like remove that tattoo and like? Yeah. Make if you're gonna act one? like that, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, uh... doesn't make sense. That's okay. Live your life. It's your truth. Again, see two things. Your pulled. truth is the most annoying sentence. Apparently, ever he has Warriors tattoos of the other team in the finals. <laughs> so he wears a wristband to cover them. <laughs> That's insane. That's dude, ridiculous, dude. Dude, shut the fuck up, Drake. All right, that's all I want to say. That's ridiculous, <laughs> man. Like, come on. Like, I'm saying that, and not in like a. Um, a, a mean way, but it's like your friend who's being ridiculous. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. Come on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> like, dude, you have a. Oh boy. Anyway, okay. Maybe when he picked that lint out of Steph Curry's hair, it was just so that Steph could see the tattoo. He was like, "But look, though, I love you." <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> You're trash. <laughs> he said that on the to the other. Tra- and by the way, yeah, he said he's trash to the other teammate. I'm like, he's in the finals. I mean, he's not that bad. He can't be that bad. He said that a warrior was trash. Yeah, like one of the other team players was like, "You're trash." And then I'm like, "Well, is he? He's not. He's in the finals. Yeah, he's, he's not. doing pretty good. Trash sir. is not. No. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry. What's next, Michael? Okay, so there's a uh, SpaceX. Uh, is apparently launching s- these Starlink satellites that are mm-hmm. in the night sky uh, in an effort to create kind of like a global internet. But the issue is is that these satellites are visible from the ground at night. And so people can see them. And it's uh, causing issues for astronomers and like independent astronomers and even just professional astronomers as well because of how bright they are. And they will constantly be in the night sky. I have a I have a very hot take mm. on this. Yes. Elon Musk will ruin this planet. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, please, I'd love to hear more about this. I just wanted to incense you. Are you being serious or not? Are you just I don't know. I think he's probably a real big d bag, but that doesn't mean he's going to ruin the planet. I think mm. that. People in the astronomy world don't like him because Why? of because of uh, he he's cocky he's he's kind of he's done a lot for space programs and and uh, mm. I'm not besmirching that but I th- I think the consensus is look I go to the planetarium every Friday in Santa Monica <laughs> and okay. the astronomers there they're not fans of Elon. Okay. Well, I, 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 not every I would Friday love to hear though, more about. Th- th- I'm, I'm genuinely, yeah, curious with details about this. You know what I mean? Because I unfortunately from- like the news stories about the little girl. Don't have much information. <laughs> gotcha. Um, <laughs> but the consensus, all of them are like fucking Elon Musk. They hate him. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make a more affordable space program. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's trying to make elect- electric cars. <laughs> trying to s- save the environment, right? <laughs> well, Putting you- all the patents so everybody can use the patents, right? <laughs> well, did you hear about Hyperloop? What's Hyperloop? The whole, it was that, like, magnet- maglev thing that was supposed to, like, shoot, like, a capsule at, like, 500 miles an hour to, like, shorten the time of, like, travel between two cities to, like, oh, yeah, the- 45 minutes. Yeah. Well, apparently it- it's not working, so they just decided that they're going to build a tunnel. It's basically a tunnel now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, are, you from the LA to Sorry, are you yeah, talking the about the latest one? Sorry. Yeah, Yeah, like they're talking like Hyperloop is just a tunnel now. Yeah, because of the issue with with the... It's like a... Uh, no, the people voted against it. Yeah. There were some people in that area who voted against it. I know exactly what you're talking about. Where was it, Hawthorne? Uh, yeah, there were s- s- some... 
there was a specific area where they were like, no, no, we don't want that to be built here. It'll, uh, uh, it, it was, it was, uh, gosh, this is the best thing to talk about when I don't know the details. Uh, but yeah, it was voted against it by a gr- another group of people. Gotcha. Yeah, there, here it is in Hawthorne, California. It was like a test tunnel or something. So they're giving up using sideways. I, you know what? I would actually like to talk to these astronomers because that's that curious. I mean, it makes sense for their job if those things are in the night sky. Uh oh. Come uh, to the uh, planetarium with me. Uh, you said in Santa Monica. It's in Santa Monica. Okay. At Santa Monica City College, it's seven dollars. Wow. It's so great. I mean, it's an amateur planetarium show, but like that's I love the like homemadeness oh. of it. It's great. Is there a website I can check yeah. it out before? I, okay, I'm yeah. gonna do that. You it's go every Saturday, Friday, and I don't oh. go every Friday, but I like last year went probably eight times. Wow, eight or nine times in like six months. Wow, it's worth it. It's great. I mean, like, yeah. Okay, okay. I might have to do that actually. It's also a good place to take first date. Okay. Not how about, that. How you know, about uh, that? Yeah. Uh, oh, what? What? Huh? Uh, uh, <laughs> what? No, no. Um, what? How about what? <laughs> <laughs> And then you can stay after, and in the parking lot, they point their stuff up in the sky, and you can look through their, uh, you know, telescopes and stuff. That's what she said. Or look, he said. Look through my telescope, baby. Yeah. Yeah, no. So apparently also. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, boy. Uh, yeah, so what, what I'm going to keep on? this train on the <laughs> Hyperloop. The, Star, the Starlink plans to operate on two frequency ranges that astronomers use to map the gas throughout the universe, allowing them to see planets as large as Jupiter assemble uh, and how galaxies formed immediately after the Big Bang. Uh, and it says if those frequency channels become inaccessible, it's extremely limiting to what we can learn about the early universe. Shut up, nerds. I want fast internet. <laughs> Uh, is, that the, is that the quote? <laughs> Shut up, nerds. I want fast internet. Yes. That actually has to be the quote for this episode. <laughs> Just so people can get angry with me. Another thing for people to get angry with me about. It's been happening more often. That's a good thing. Yeah. They're talking about you if they're angry. Dude, they are. <laughs> yeah. Some of them had been invited to my block party, which has been great. It's just growing. Censoring people. I love it. <laughs> So, shut up, nerds. <laughs> shut up, shut up, nerds. <laughs> um, what else we got, Michael? Up next, we've got a, a a tourist was infected by a brain invading parasite after eating a slug on a dare in Hawaii. Dumb. I, I saw that. And Dumb. It's actually Dumb. very dangerous. Dumb. This is actually a big problem, and it's a horrible way to go. Did they die? They probably will. Uh, did they? Did they solve it yet? I don't think it says like anything about. Okay. What happened to this kid in England? He did the exact same thing with a slug. Got a parasite in his head. Two years in a hospital or something like this. Something long. And then he just passed away. Dumb. Don't eat slugs. Unless it's escargot. Uh, have you had escargot? Yeah, it's delicious. Really? Okay. Yeah. I guess they fully cook it, so it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Don't eat a raw slug. What Dude. are you doing? You pick it up off the earth? A snail is basically a slug with a home, correct? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Just so making escargot sure. is a snail, not a slug. Okay. Yeah. It can move to the, it says once a parasite has infected a host, it can move to the brain and cause a type of meningitis, and it can eventually lead to death, but it doesn't look like any of them have died yet. Okay, hopefully they get some uh, pills this, in them. This thing, this conversation makes every one of my vertebrae tingle. Hate it. Hate this conversation. Hate it. Uh, makes me really uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, the parasites or the slug part? Sorry. The both. Okay. The both. Yeah. We can keep talking about it. I'm just saying, like the the I was just curious visceral. Why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you had a ever ever had a something parasitic happen? Is that why? Or no, oh, okay. just the thought of like a tiny thing chomping away at your brain cells. Yeah. Horrible way to go. Horrible way to not, go. Not pleasant. No, not at all. Uh-uh. The, uh. This is um. It's crazy. Have you ever seen uh, Planet Earth, the original one? They talk about this invasive parasite that hits certain uh, when a when a group of insects gets too populated in mm-hmm. the Amazon. This uh, what is it called? A fungus of to- si- uh, uh, of types will infect the brain of, of the insects of the insects and like force an ant 
to go to the highest point possible and then it'll like explode and grow from its head and then all the spores will go out and like it'll infect entire colonies it'll wipe out like large population it's it's freaking nuts yeah the cordyceps mushroom is actually a type of fungus which actually does this they did that in a video game the last of us oh really that's yeah. what the okay Cord- that's like so cord- true. Yeah, yeah. But uh, cordyceps mushrooms. Shut up, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I love so it. So it belongs to Ophiocordyceps unilateris, uh, zo- the zombie ant fungus. Yeah, yeah. So the so. specific one I'm talking about, the cordyceps I'm talking about, is they found it in the Himalayas where they noticed when cows eat this, like the herders, mm-hmm. they, whenever they wear them out, they go, oh, when, when the cows eat this fungus. They seem to have more energy. So one of the farmers was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some. Then he realized, oh, I'm having more energy too. Yeah. And, and then what happened? Oh, you, you, it, it helps your body retain more oxygen. So you get more energy. You feel more vigor. Whoa. Yeah. How do we get this? Oh, it's available now. It, they, they make it in mass quantities, organic and everything. And you eat it? Have you eaten it? Yeah, it's great. You can take it in pill form. You can take it in a coffee supplement. You can take it in like liquid form. It's it's actually does uh, wonders before a workout. No well, joke. I want to know about this more. Okay. After off the air. Yeah, sure. I'll write it down. Yeah. Have you ever heard of spilanthi? What is that? Spilanthi is something that one of the people who were working on the film in Massachusetts brought to me. It's a. It looks like a marijuana bud. <laughs> it's an herb. Um. And you put it in your mouth, and you chew it around, and it makes your it, the, the early dentists use it as a form of Novocaine. Oh, it's like pop rocks on crack, and it makes everything tingly and numb, and uh, yeah, tingly and numb, and it doesn't taste very good. I've never seen it like this. The ones that I saw were like dried and green, um, but you can buy it, and they sell it in regular form, and. Um, so what does it give you? Like what? Nothing. Okay. It lasts for like f- three or four minutes, five minutes, oh, okay. and your mouth goes like, "Whoa!" That's weird. It's cool. Okay. I, yeah. I'd love to try it once, maybe. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't. Okay. It's not like you know. There's no. It doesn't do anything. You just kind of put it in your mouth and chew it around, and you go like, "That tastes bad," and then you go like, "Oh man, that's crazy," and then it's yeah. over. You know what I mean? Yeah, You're yeah. not like high. Okay. 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 Gotcha. There's something they do in Yemen, uh, if you don't mind looking this up, they chew on this big thing, and it's supposed to give them a little bit of a high. It's one of those, like, not like a cocaine leaf. Sure, thing, sure, but, sure. Yeah, but, I mean, they it's becoming, like, it was an epidemic for a while. Oh, really? Yeah, we're, like... Quat? Yeah, yeah. Quat? Q-A-T? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. It's pretty nuts, like... <laughs> dude, dude, that is the most ridiculous picture of that. This is a fast... <laughs> dude... Guy, make a bet. That's not how they chew it, by the way. <laughs> I like it. I like the. Yeah. See, it's in all bushels and they sell it like everywhere. Huh. Yeah. It's, it's like a quite. drug. Hmm. Nuts. Spilanthi is not a drug. Okay. It just, you just kind of go like, oh, my mouth is excited. Yeah. All right. That's good. Um, anything else we got, Michael? We got one last one. Let's yeah, do let's one do last it. One. Yeah. Um, so, AOC and Ted Cruz uh, have joined forces, so to speak, to uh, work on a bill to prevent uh, Congress people from becoming lobbyists after they leave Congress. Oh. Seems like common sense. Seems like a good idea. And mm. if you can get someone like AOC and Ted Cruz to agree on it, why not? Hmm. I like it. Yeah? Huh. Uh, there's something fishy. It's too good to be true. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? Like, well, it's like, okay. <laughs> Congressional leaders probably won't go for it. And they control the, the schedule, so. Oh. Uh, well, well, well. I hate when those technicalities come into play and they use it against the parties. It feels like they stop working for the people, you know? They're working for themselves. <laughs> They've always been working for themselves. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's Maybe terrible. you should be, you should run for a senator. Uh, I've got too many demons. I've got yeah. too many skeletons in my closet. Yeah, <laughs> same. I've mm-hmm. already said stuff on the show that would, <laughs> first of all, shut up, nerds. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I've said much worse. Much things. worse. Yeah. yeah, yeah, much worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that guy you killed—that probably wouldn't fly. He deserved it. You he should have got the windows tint. right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Comedy, baby. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. That's show business. How much time we got left? Nine 
Nine minutes. Nine minutes. We can keep going for a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have you missed coming on the show at all? Your show? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you drinking? Oh, she's drinking. What? How often, not that it's dirty, but do you wash your water bottle? Oh, all the time. Good. Good. I had a roommate in the past who did not take proper care in washing, and he found mold in his. It was like one of those complicated ones that have a little, like a press spring and all this stuff. He, he found mold in it. Well, he put something other than water in it probably, too. Maybe. But that's so gross. Imagine you've been drinking mold and getting sick and you don't know what for. Oh, my Keurig got, had mold in it for a while. Oh, my gosh. Got rid of that thing. Bye. <laughs> I'm being serious. <laughs> <laughs> so passionate about yeah, yeah, your delivery on it was yeah. great. Yeah, because it was disgusting. Yeah. A lot of mold or like a oh, gross kind of mold? <sighs> it had like in the water tank. Mm-hmm. Which apparently, it hadn't gone that long without cleaning, but for some reason, that thing got dirty. And I was like, what is this? I thought it was a reflection from where it was sitting on, like the actual plastic. But it was actually in the uh, water tank itself. It was like this brown layer. I was like, oh my god, I've been drinking that. That's so, that's so gross. And then I was thinking, it must be in the little pipes and everything like that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so no more Keurig for you? No more Keurig. No, yeah. thank you. How do you make your morning do, beverage? Uh, coffee. We do pour overs. French. Oh, pour over. Yeah, that's what we do. It. I like a pour over. Oh. I like a French press. I'm a bit of a. I like coffee a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Light, medium, or dark roast for you? Uh, light roast because it has the most amount of cough caffeine. Okay. But I like a. I I want to not be able to see through the liquid. Why? So I want the coffee to be dark, but I like to use a light roast. Wow. That is very picky. You want aesthetically. No, no. I'm saying if I'm making it, that's how I make it. Oh. Okay. If I go somewhere and they're serving coffee, I'm going to drink the fucking coffee. Shut, shut up, nerds. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but if I'm making it, my coffee is like you could stir it and a spoon will stand up in it. It's real dark. Oh, wow. But I like a lighter roast. Okay. Because I feel like also like, you know, they, they say like the darker roast, they roast out the caffeine mm -hmm. if i'm gonna drink coffee yeah, okay. i'm gonna do it for the caffeine yeah. Yeah, okay. i'll tell you what tell me you would have loved tell me the coffee we had in japan it was the best cups of coffee i've ever had in my life why <sighs> the flavors you would never understand how that makes sense the guy opened up one of the bags of coffee. I like how you said how that makes sense because you were like, you would never understand. I'm like, really? Really? Would I not uh, understand it? No, this is why. <laughs> I'm giving you. He opened the bag, tells me this is coffee, right? Uh -huh. We smell it. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, sir. Uh -huh. That's chocolate covered raspberries. What are you talking about? That's what it smelled like. Hmm. It smelled like chocolate covered raspberries. We took a sip of the coffee and we're like, oh, you put liquid uh, licorice sugar in here, <laughs> right? No, that's just the way the coffee tastes. Hmm. Insane flavor profiles, and they're light roasts. Do you like floral smells? Mm -hmm. oh, pure jasmine. Hmm. Insane. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, I'm going to Japan now. Yeah, if you ever do, I have the list of coffee places you have to hit up. Shout out to Cafe Mamea. I didn't realize you were yeah. a coffee. I thought you were a tea man. I'm up. To, I'm both now because and my friend Isaiah became and coffee. Mate. Yeah, that's the. Isn't I that consider a tea? a tea leaf. Yeah, oh, okay. Tea okay. Leaf. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah. All right. Well, definitely gotta try. Uh, uh, oh, Maru Coffee, downtown LA, has a great pour over. Cafe Dolce have has amazing pour overs as well. Huh. So you gotta try those two places if you're if you're a coffee fiend. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm What's not super picky. Okay. I'm not super picky. I will like... Really? Most likely, I will like whatever coffee you put in front of me. Clearly, there's like... Some are better than others, but I, you know. I mean, this is in a good way. You seem like a very specific person, though. So I could imagine you being like, no, this is the cup of coffee I get from this place because they make it this way and this is why it's the best. I could see why you think that, but no. Yeah, no. I'm pretty easy going most of the time. Yeah. 
That doesn't mean you're not easygoing, but it just means, you know, you're very specific. You, you like your certain thing. Yeah. yeah. Like your RAV4. I like my RAV4. Can I see it after the show? For sure, man. Awesome. You could drive it. Okay. Can I drive your Tesla? I don't have a Tesla. <laughs> I thought you liked Elon Musk and shit. I do. I don't have a Tesla, though. All right. Yeah. Can I drive your scooter that you drove here? You certainly can. Okay. I get those green scooters, the ones I rent. You you just fully rent. Have you seen people drive multiple of those at the same time? What? What? <gasps> the people who, like, collect them to charge them. Huh. Wow. They, they cross them like an X, and so one of them, the, the wheels are higher than the other, and they drive down the street. Mm-hmm. It's dope. Highly skilled individuals. I would eat shit. If I tried to do that. Well, one of I think some of them have a death wish because they don't understand that I'm in a metal box and I can just hit them and nothing will happen to me. Yeah, but why would you do that? Oh, why would I do that? Well, what if they decide that, oh, I'm just going to jump into traffic. I'm part of the cars now. <laughs> oh, are you, sir? You don't even have a helmet on. You I know. You have a death wish? I know. The- and you're just weaving in and out of cars? Dude, you're crazy. Mm-hmm. That's true. Have you actually ridden one of those? No, I don't need to. And you won't? No. Yeah. I mean, maybe if I'm on the beach and I'm having a great day, maybe. Seems unlikely. Seems unlikely, though. Huh. Yeah. I'm sure it's fun. I just would rather drive it. It is fun. Ride it on the sidewalk. Is it ride or drive it? First of all, you it's way more dangerous to ride it on the sidewalk. Than the street? Well, dangerous for everybody other than you. You're an asshole if you ride a scooter on a sidewalk. And then it's you're an really asshole bad. if you ride it in the street. In this, in the, bike, lane. <laughs> bike lane. Bike lane with the scooter. Don't weave in and out of traffic because then you're an idiot, and and that's not smart. You would think you would think that though, but people for right. We live in the time where. But don't ride your bike on the sidewalk, and don't ride your scooter on the sidewalk. Seriously. Public service announcements, don't do it. You're an asshole if you do. And as we've established on this show before, in the religion of Katie, if you're an asshole, you're going to hell. <laughs> and that's the way we're going to end it. Play us out. <laughs> Shut up, nerds. <laughs> All right. Play us out, M- Michael. Uh, thank you, Katie, for coming on the show. My pleasure. You're Katie LeClaire on everything? I am, yeah, on awesome. everything, including awesome. my birth certificate. There you go. Check us. <laughs> uh, check out the Brad Davern Show every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Pacific oh, time. Round of your life in theaters June 31st. Awesome. 21st. Check us out. Check it out. Check that out. What? Who's there? Thank you, Adobe. Thank you, Nice Guy Digital. Thank you, Michael, Peyton, Steph. Thank you to our new subscribers. Oh, thank you, Hannah. GB Village Artist. Go visit her Etsy. We'll provide links. Always remember to listen, think and then talk.